expert enduro rider and Inside Motorcycles contributor Tony Sharpless looks at luggage options. So Tony, during these adventure segments, we've been looking at the whole broad spectrum of adventure sport, adventure riding, and um, not not every adventure involves packing, you know, the kitchen sink and riding around the world. Some adventures take place just on a weekend where you don't want to take all that luggage. And we were talking about that and you said, well, I'll bring a few things to show you what you can use just for a weekend. And you showed up with this backpack that just blew me away. It's great. Yeah, it sure is. Uh, it's got a nice uh, shape to it, which is aerodynamic, and it holds its shape so you can stuff as much or as little as you want into it. And it has material on it. Uh, this particular one is a carbon copy, and it the dust doesn't stick to it. So right. that's great for going off-roading. If you're going to head down some gravel roads or whatnot, mm -hmm. um, the dust is really hard to get off of your, your equipment. And inside, what's uh, handy is you want to have a place where you can organize things right. so that you don't have anything bouncing around in there and all getting jumbled together. Mm -hmm. And if you're carrying a lot of clothes, something like a compression pack is really cool because you can put a lot of clothes in there and then you can just cinch it down and compress it into a little tiny That's football excellent. size. Yeah. And uh, then I just throw it in there and then you still have room to put you know, some spare shoes or something in there as well. Now you brought along this classic tank bag. Yeah. Um, this is great. What What did you want to point out about this? I, I love the map because uh, yeah. even though we have GPSs, I still use a map, right? Yeah, it gives you a great overlay of where you are, uh, and people use it in conjunction with the GPS. So, mm -hmm. and this uh, tank bag has a nice wedge to it, so it can. Uh, fit nicely on any of the uh, steep uh, tanks. And it comes with the um, straps or the magnetic uh, option. So depending on what your gas tank Plastic is, Plastic tank, yeah. It'll fit. Now I notice you also sort of shrunk it right down to even protecting your phone on its own. Yeah, I mean, your phone is your lifeline. So you want to make sure that it's protected. And uh, one of the great things uh, that Hitcase makes is um, this product that surrounds your phone, um, but it also makes it into a really great uh, recording device. So you can record your fun that you're having, your trip and your adventure, and then uh, show your friends and family when you get back. And the phone is protected, even you can throw it in water, it will go 30 feet in the water, or um, you run over it with your bike. It just won't destroy your phone, and your phone's your lifeline, so it's really important to protect it. So think about protecting your phone when you go away. That's great. And then <clears throat> everybody has one of these now, right? Oh, GoPro. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it, there's so many different ones out on the market. And uh, I like this one because it's really tough and durable. I had one on uh, for a re venture that we did in Africa and I fell on it. I had it on the side of my helmet, I fell on it. And the Gorilla Glass didn't even break. Wow. So uh, I got a bruise, but the camera didn't. So it, yeah, they're really tough and uh, they're really fun to watch later after you've recorded all the fun you've had. Well, Tony, this is great. And these are just some great options available to adventure riders now. And uh, if you're not, like I said, if you're not just planning for a big long distance ride over the course of a week or two, maybe for a weekend, there's some great options for you. Ex uh, yeah, it's excellent. And even to take on the airplane with you if you're going renting in another country. So. Great stuff. Thanks for sharing. Oh, you're welcome.